Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a limited edition of 500 pieces launched for the 2015 model year. This is the Breitling Jet Team American Tour Chronomat 44 Black Steel, and it is everything its name implies. In DLC Black and Steel, the watch is 44 millimeters in diameter. It is 17.2 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 54.1 millimeters and 22 millimeters between the lugs. Throw the watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it's large. I wouldn't actually wear this watch on a wrist smaller than mine. I, I could wear this, but if my wrist were smaller, I could not. And that's down to the thickness and the width across the wrist. You can also see, being a very, very thick watch, it's not gonna slide underneath the sleeve. Now, the strap is wonderful. This Breitling Hershey bar style strap, the professional, is a lovely complement to Breitling's best clasp. Let's talk a little bit about this strap. You can see it is designed to be cut to length, and this is a brand new uncut Breitling vulcanized rubber strap. Now, in spite of its substance and its thickness, it is very flexible, soft, and pliant, with a little hollow underneath to allow the wrist to better breathe. You can see how the Breitling logo actually inverts from raised to sunken. And then we have Breitling's best clasp, which, like the case, is DLC coated steel. So I call it Breitling's best clasp because first it's unlocked with triggers not a clamshell second when you go inside you can see that there is a push button slider so I have incremental adjustment built in and it is adjusted using that push button which releases and allows me to fine-tune the fit so even after I cut it to length I've got a little bit of adjustability built in quick note on black steel it's what you're looking at here DLC or diamond like carbon is extraordinarily scratch resistant which is why this watch though now seven years old has nary a mark on it most of the marks you're seeing are just evidence of oils from my fingers I don't like to handle watches with gloves because if you've ever been to a boutique you know that means people drop watches. So any mark you see here is probably just from my fingers. Now the case is all satin finish. It's a muted look. You can see it's brushed and satinated. It has a handsome look to it. It is tapered. The lugs are nicely blended into the case. They're actually not too broad when you view them end on. We do have a few polished highlights. As you can see, the chronograph screw downs and then the pushers themselves are polished for a subtle contrast. We have the chronomat onion style crown screw down with the screw downs and the screwed in case back. The whole thing is 200 meters water resistant. The rider tabs on the bezel, they are also polished black. The rest is satin black steel and it is a wonderfully crisp 120 click bezel. In fact, it is so subtle it may even be more than 120 click. It is the finest detent I've ever experienced. Extremely precise for on the mark location of the bezel pearl against the minute hand. And the idea here is, because it is a unidirectional bezel, this is an aviation themed watch, but it is very much a viable dive watch as well. Let's take a look at the loom. And you can see it has no shortage with a moon-sized be bezel pearl. And take a look, the chronograph seconds hand also visible so you know whether your watch is running in the dark. The bezel is of the captive style, which means it's held on by screws. This is an unusual system that's used by Breitling and only a handful of others, most notably Zinn of Frankfurt. By Fixing the bezel to the case using screws, Breitling creates a bezel that cannot be snapped off by a sudden impact. Rolex, Omega, Tag, most others, they have that vulnerability. This cannot be victimized thusly. Now, I should also mention there are a lot of features here that are carried over from the long-running, best-selling Chronomat line. Relaunched in 1983 with input from the Italian aerobatic squadron Frecce Tricolore, the Chronomat was reborn under the Schneider family following the Breitling family bankruptcy. Chronomat went from being a circular slide rule chronograph to a robust unidirectional rotating bezel chronograph uh, that could double as a dive watch, and that's when we got the rider tabs, that's when we got the unidirectional 
directional bezel. That's when we got the onion style crown. So this watch is very much in that vein. The dial is all matte black to resist glare. You can see there is a quadrant at the center. And then we have a unique set of striations that are built into the sub registers. We have satin finished hands in gray. We have a matte finished set of applique indices. And then we have a matching black date disc. We have yellow varnished hands. And you can see that the watch is Breitling Jet Team themed. The Jet Team, a set of jets and their pilots operated by Breitling and sent on world tour. Less emphasis on this now, but back in the day, it was an important part of Breitling's identity as an aviation themed watchmaker. And this was dedicated to the Jet Team's American tour. Now taking a look at the dial, you can see that logo of the Jet Team on the dial side. The watch has a caliber B01 internally, which is Breitling's in-house caliber that debuted in 2009 on the Chronomet models. It has a column wheel for actuating the chronograph which is why you have that wonderful pusher feel and sound. It also has a vertical clutch system. So when you start the chronograph, there's no jump or stagger or extraneous movement of the second sand. Further, because of the vertical clutch, you can leave the chronograph running full time if you just like to have a big second sand running on your dial. Now we have other features that are germane to modern in-house calipers. Most brands will build in hacking seconds, which this has. And then there's also a quick set system for the date. The movement is hidden under the case back, but you'll be happy to know it's actually a pretty good looking caliber. Automatic winding, it has a 70 hour power reserve it beats sway at 4 hertz or 8 beats per second. It pivots on 47 joules, and it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. I'll also mention, and this really does deserve mention, that the column wheel feel of the B01 is among the absolute best in the business at any price point. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.